So the major talking point of this announcement is that streaming as we know it, where students go into normal technical, normal academic or express streams, it will now be abolished. And in its place, what we're going to expect to see is something called subject-based bending, where students get to take different subjects at different levels according to their ability. So how this works is quite similar to what you see in the junior college system, where students take subjects at H1, H2 or H3 levels. At the secondary school level, subjects will be mapped to three levels. So G1 or General 1 for Normal Technical, G2 for Normal Academic and G3 for Express. And at the end of their four years in education, instead of taking the N or O levels as we currently do, all students are going to sit for one common national exam. This change will affect all students entering Set 1 from 2024 onwards, which corresponds to this year's Primary 2 cohort. So this means that if you're a secondary school student, you can take different subjects according to your ability in each of the subjects. So say you're really good at English but you're not so good at mathematics, what you could possibly do is you could take English at G3 level, which is the highest level, and take mathematics at G1 level. And on top of that, we could also expect the traditional concept of a form class to change. So currently, schools tend to organise their form classes according to the academic streams. But in future, you could see that schools will have more flexibility to exercise their creativity in different areas. So, for example, they could organise their classes according to CCAs. In fact, one school is already doing this. So this is really being done to reduce stigmatisation and encourage students to mix across different streams. Subject-based banding was first piloted in secondary schools in 2014 and currently all schools offering the normal stream offer subject-based banding as well. So MOE has looked at it, looked at the results and they've seen positive feedback and outcomes from the exercise. So now they've decided to expand it to all students. So this takes effect from 2024 when all schools start offering subject-based banding and the first common national examination will take place in 2027. So basically what happens is that some schools will start piloting aspects of full subject-based banding from next year and this will be progressively rolled out to all schools by 2024 and MOE says more details will be announced at a later date.